you will be the go-to guy on every team. You're not always going to be the go-to guy. This is a struggle for most players that think that, okay, I come into this game and I'm going to be one of two players or one of three players. So you automatically believe that everything should be ran through you and all the system is for you. That is not always the case. A lot of the times you might be assigned to a team to just be the fourth option. And I don't think most players have ever even heard that kind of talk about you get you signing me to be the fourth option because no agent and no put and no team are going to just tell you hey we're bringing you here to be the fourth option sometimes being the fourth option and just coasting your way to a championship on a really good team can be exactly what you need to propel your career into the next level but a lot of times we never even get think that I'm going to be a third, fourth option on any team. I didn't come here to be a third or fourth option. I came here to be the guy. I must have been here to be the go-to guy because you talk to the coach maybe and the GM or your agent was boosting you up saying, yeah, you can go in here and get your numbers or whatever the case may be. Get that thought process out of your head. Do not let that blind you and fool you to think that every time that you're going to be the guy. This is more about how, trying to be the guy and more about how do I solidify myself and what can I use this season or this situation to help me for my next gig or further on. Don't just think that because I'm not the guy that I I can't be here. I need to leave and I need to go find and get some or go to another team that appreciate. Role, role players get paid too. And not every season you're going to be a role player. Not every team and situation. Sometimes you're going to be the go-to guy and you need to put up 25 shots. Sometimes you need to be the role player and get five shots, six shots a game. Sometimes that is like that. But the thought process of thinking that every team that you go to, you're going to be the guy, that is not true. That is not factual. That is not how it is. That is not how the game works. You're not always going to be the go-to guy every single team you go to. So do not allow yourself to get blinded by that thought process. Get that out of your head first and foremost. Number four. You, the club or organization that you are with will take care of you. And what I mean by take care of you, I mean they will make sure every single situation that you have going along with your life or life off the court, they're going to take care of it. That's not always the case. My first year in Columbia, I had, man, you got sick. You didn't have certain, like, just amenities. Not every club and organization. Sometimes they just pick you up, drop you off, and then they're gone. They, sometimes they don't make sure you got food. Sometimes they make sure they don't make sure that your water is on, your internet. You're going to have to know how to take care of yourself and move around and use a translation and know how to get around by having conversations with people, having a mentor, having someone who can navigate you with just a few things that can help you with the generality. Hey, when you get to the airport, look to see if they got the little SIM card that you can use so you can have service just in case you get to the hotel and they don't have any Wi-Fi. At least you're set for like a week instead of just waiting around and not being able to communicate with nobody. Now you're stuck. Nobody's showing up. You don't know what's going on. You ain't got no Wi-Fi. But the team's supposed to be taking care of me. These situations have happened before, you know, and so you have to really understand that they're not always going to take care of every little single need for you, every little need, every little thing. There's so much little things that can go in. Hey, man, where's my water? Where's my food? Where's this? You know, I have to have a doctor's appointment. Nobody came pick me up. Where is it at? It's in another language. But some things you're going to have to figure out on yourself and don't rely be solely reliable upon the team to always take care of your every little need. That doesn't always happen. You get, you will be blessed to find a team that actually looks after the majority of the things that you need to get done with a timely manner, especially. I would say that constructs a good team, a team that can take care of the things that you need done in a timely manner. If they can get it done quick or get it done, that is a the signs of a very good organization is how quickly they can handle the small matters for you. Because something as such as, hey, the gas ran out and we ain't got no hot water, that might last for a week. 
really good cup that might last in the next hour. A good, you know, or hey, they'll come and take care of it immediately. <laughs> not every club is like that. They're not always gonna be taking care of your little needs, and you cold, and you ain't got no, and you ain't got no heater. Some countries it'd be so cold, ten, twenty degrees, and you ain't got no heater. Or other ones it'd be hundred and ten, and I'm like, can I get a fan? You can't, <laughs> you can't even get a fan. Like, there are some things. Do not believe that every club, that every organization and team that you go to, that they will automatically have your best interest and would be taking care of every little single need for you it don't work like that don't think that be prepared to have your own little your own money set aside be prepared to have your own situations that you can take care of on your own like food like i don't know transportation mainly your phone make sure you have service on your phone so you can use to translate and just stay in touch a lot of times players get caught up because they just can't get a hold of somebody over the minor situation of I don't even know how to communicate because they ain't got no Wi-Fi. I use the Wi-Fi one because that's probably the biggest one because you can't communicate to get anything done. And if you think every situation you go to, your Wi-Fi is going to be on point. Boy, I learned to love and appreciate America's Wi-Fi because it is not great in other countries like that. It is not great. Boy, I thought I, I would go. You would think, oh, maybe i go to the other country and ain't gonna be so, what's the word? So much people on the service or whatever that I could be able to have good. Man, them Wi Fi servers be so slow. Man, it be so slow. I remember I used to play the game, man. It just to be so slow and choppy and glitching and all that. And then you might be staying with like two, three players, and then those, everybody using the slow Wi Fi together, so it's even more slower than it <clears throat> can be. All types of situations can happen. So, don't don't just think that every team is going to just have your best interests in mind. <laughs> they they're not. Misconception number five: you will get majority of the shots for your team. You will be the primary scorer. Understand that that not every team is bringing you in to be a scorer. Not every team needs a Devin Booker. Or a flat out score. Now, majority of times, are you brung into score and be a big part of the team to change the game and contribute with your scoring? Majority of times, yes. But not always that you're going to become the, be the primary scorer or I'm going to come out here and drop 20. I don't know why players feel like they're going to come out here and average 20 and just ball out and I'm going to just come out here and put up 25 a night every single night. Because I see my homeboy out here, he was going crazy, and I'm just as good as him, so I know I can go crazy. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.